In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to add a text box onto a design in Canvas. So here I have a blank canvas and here we can see down the side, we've got options that we can use from design, elements, text, brand, uploads, draw. Today, we're going to be focusing on text. So when we hover over it, it then brings us up other options. So we can see straight away that we can just add a text box. So if we click on that, here is our text box and we can just delete that text and simply start typing and then you can type out as much as you need to type out that's a really great option to get started depending on what type of document you are trying to create here we can see we have default text styles so here we can add a heading add a subheading or add a little bit of body text to use those we just simply click on them and they go straight over onto our canvas like so and then from there you are able to edit them so if we take the add a heading now that we've got a text box we can also see that we've got another bar across the top giving us more options so the first option is for magic write so if we click on that we can see we can continue writing shorten it rewrite it more fun, more formal, add some sprinkle fairy dust, change the voice, fix the spelling and custom prompt. Here we can go into the font options. So here we can see all the different font options that are available. The ones with the little crown are the ones that are on Canva Pro. And if you pay for Canva Pro, then you can use this font for free. If you're not, then you're simply looking for the fonts that do not have a crown at the side of them. We can also click on text styles. And again, that just takes us to the heading subheading and the body and here if you're also on canva pro you can add your favorite fonts into your brand kit next up we can increase or decrease the size of our font next up we can change the color of our text by clicking on the text color box here we can see the document color so it said basically it's black and white there is a wheel if you want to add a new color if you know a hex code you can type a hex code in or failing that you can just scroll across and find your desired color. You can also select one of the colors that you have stored that are in your brand kit or there are also default colors for you to choose from. So if we just click on the green one, there we can see it's changed the color. You can also make it bold or unbold. You can also make it italic. Next up, we've got alignment. So if we go down to the text here, we can align it. We can align it in the center. We can align it to the right or we can align it to the left. Here, we can make it a list if you want to add bullet points click on it once click on it again and you'll get numbers the next one is spacing so if we take a look at the text here in this box we can use the marker on the letter spacing and if we move it we can see that the letters in the text box are becoming more spaced out and same with the line spacing we can also either close the lines to make them further together or we can move it and make a bigger space in between the lines the anchor text box shows the center anchor point so here we can see that it's facing down so if we move the line spacing then the bottom line is moving further down we can change that by clicking on the center one so again if we now make the line spacing the text will move both up and down at the same time and for the end one we can see that the top line of text will now move up if we use the line spacing the next one we have is transparency you can slide that along and obviously it changes the transparency of the text next up we have effects so if we click on our heading title and then click on effects we can see now here we've got different effects that we can use so the first one is none. The second one is we can add a shadow. And here we can see there's different parameters. So we can obviously move those across and adjust the effects on the text to something that you find is appealing or is going to match the design that you're making. And again, we can go on lift and that looks like it's been lifted. And again, you can change the intensity. You can make the text hollow. You can splice it. You can add an outline. You can add an echo, a glitch you can make it neon, you can have a really good play around with those and they are quite fun for adding a bit of an extra added effect to text. And at the bottom, we have shape, so you can have it straight or you can curve it. And finally, you can animate your text. So here, if you click on it, you'll see that the text will rise and this one, it'll pan in from the side, it'll fade, it'll pop, 
little wipe across and they are really great just for adding a bit more animation to documents that you are creating as well as using the font size box you can also alter the font by just dragging it at the corner to make it a size if you're not sure the exact size you want to type in then you can just drag it to fit in the space also depending on the document you're working on if you have a text box that has a lot of text in you can also change the size of the text box you can obviously make it larger you can make it smaller and also if you go to the side of the box then you can squash it up and then that will obviously change the dimensions of it or you can drag it out and make it quite long and thin this is perfect if you need to fit text into your documents but you only have a confined space to do it in